Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2017 as Real Madrid. So we're starting here with league action at home to Real Sociedad and as you can see a whopping 6-0 victory for us which is a great way to return to Spanish league action after we were away at the Club World Championship. So let's take a look at how this battering unfolded then shall we? So the first piece of action takes place after 8 minutes. It's really with the goal kick for them, plays it out to Gonzalez now. He goes across the box to Inigo Martinez, who comes forward now for Yuri. To that chap. Plays it to Prieto. Wide to Zaldua. Prieto. Zuruza. Juanmi plays it wide. Prieto now. Cuts it across, and I'm concerned about going behind early, but Danilo with the big clearance. Ronaldo picking it up now and running at their defence, and I'm really hoping we can sucker them on the counter here. Ronaldo, though, I mean, God bless him, he's a hell of a player for us, but what on earth was he thinking? A terrible effort there from Ronaldo. So another eight minutes go by in the game, and uh, Real Sociedad have the free kick inside our half, and again I'm worried about going behind because they're a decent side. Pardo playing it to Iaramendi there, it's nicked by Danilo coming forward, he plays it on to Gareth Bale, Gareth Bale hits it forward to Morata, good touch, he plays it to Ronaldo, he's got an overlap from Coentrao, can he find a ball into the box, Coentrao, a great ball in but it's headed away, Isco nods it to Bale who's in acres of space and he is going to gobble up that chance all day long, a good start, nice early goal, hopefully we can press on from here. So not long after the first goal, another free kick for Real Sociedad, whipped into our box, oh no it's actually not, it's taken short, beg your pardon, Juan me playing the ball now, he plays it round the corner to Prieto and Zaldua, Prieto again, nicked by Coentrao, Coentrao holds off his man and plays it forward to Danilo and again they've been hit on the counter here, Ronaldo getting into the box, got to play a good cross here, Cristiano Ronaldo, he's tripped for the penalty and as much as we're having bad luck with referees giving us red cards, we're having pretty decent luck with actually getting penalties out of them. The referee deciding only the yellow card, of course, for the for the defender there. Wasn't a clear opportunity, but Ronaldo will step up with a clear opportunity now from the penalty to make it 2-0, and I will, you know, I'm thinking when he's stepping up here that this will be us on our way and we should easily seal the game if he scores here. So Ronaldo steps up. And puts it beyond the goalkeeper. A good finish, well on our way, should be an easy victory from here. So not long after the penalty, we actually pick up the action with Ronaldo running forward. He manages to hold off a couple of challenges. He plays the ball to Kovacic. Kovacic pings a great ball out wide to Coentrao, who's having a good day down the left-hand side. He plays a great ball into to Toni Kroos. Toni Kroos now slips it through for Bale, and it's almost a carbon copy of Gareth Bale's first goal for 3-0. Game over. So they do pretty well, actually, to hold out for the rest of the first half. Taking the 3-0 into half time, obviously I'm telling the lads it's been a great performance and I'm just expecting us to go out and add. And, you know, game over, three points in the bag, but let's have some fun. And it seems like the lads are up for that, because only about a minute and a half into the second half, it's Danilo throwing it to Rugani, back to Danilo. By the way, another shout out to Rugani here, playing very well actually now in the team. Gareth Bale coming forward, and he's played it out to Coentrao, acres of space again from him. He plays the ball in, it's coming back to James Rodriguez, who's Scores a great goal, he's had a torrid time actually this season with injury and I'm happy for the man getting on the score sheet because he is a class player. Now the next piece of action is actually right from the kickoff from that goal. Out wide it goes, back to Inigo Martinez, to Mikel Gonzalez, to Prieto. Prieto plays it for, oh no, sorry, that's Prieto picking it up now, beg your pardon. Forward for Wanmi. <clears throat> Rugani with a good interception, plays it back to Keylor Navas. Navas going long now towards Manata, surrounded by players, headed away but it will be picked up by James Rodriguez who finds Gareth Bale and we're hunting for a second within two minutes. James plays it out to Coentrao and again he's got on it but his cross is blocked now, comes back to Casimero, James Rodriguez to Ronaldo, Ronaldo holding it up to James Rodriguez, a great ball out for Coentrao again, his cross in and this time Gareth Bale has nodded over the bar, should have been another goal there. And after that, the game goes quiet for a while. We pick it up with Rugani with the free kick inside our own half. Rugani 
hits it out to Coentrao, who's had a stormer of a game today. Coentrao to Casimero now. He hits it forward for Morata. Has to take a touch. Plays it to Gareth Bale. Beats the man and beats the goalkeeper. It's a great finish from Gareth Bale. He's had a fantastic game today and we hope to see some more of this form from him more regularly in the future. So coming to the end of the game now, 83 minutes gone, free kick for Geronimo really here, he plays it out to Inigo Martinez, he goes to Gonzalez, they've tried to play good possession football today but it really hasn't worked for them, ball forward from Pardo, intercepted by Kroos, Casemiro to James Rodriguez, back to Varane and we're playing with a real swagger and confidence here, Casemiro to James, good ball out to Coentrao, he plays it forward for Ronaldo, touch, cross, Morata. Simple as, it's probably the simplest goal we've scored all season, it makes it 6 nothing, and it's a brilliant way to bounce back in the league after a hugely disappointing defeat of course against Barcelona. So taking a look at the stats here, it's actually somewhat misleading, you know 24-7 makes it look tighter than it really was to be honest, 6-0, 15 shots on target, 7 clear cut chances which is a crazy high number and a 58% possession count, great game for us and that will really stand as well going into our next game. So the next time we're in action is another Spanish Cup game, this time in the fifth round against Valladolid. A 3-0 victory, again standard. 16 shots to them, 14 for us, so it was somewhat of a tight game and of course Casemiro getting sent off in the 25th minute for yet another red card. Uh, not going to show the highlights again for this one, it's a fairly standard win in the Spanish Cup, but the next time out is going to be much more important as we take on Villarreal in the league. So the next time we do return to league action is Villarreal, we get the 2-0 victory and we're going to take a look at how the action unfolds and what was sort of more of a tough game actually because Villarreal are a good side so I'm really glad to get the clean sheet here as well as the victory. So the first piece of action comes after 8 minutes as Kroos whips in the corner. It's towards Kovacic who nods it down for Gareth Bale but it does deflect wide for another corner. Corner comes to nothing, it was a decent first chance and a, and a good block by their defender. So after 10 minutes it's Kroos to whip another ball into their box. Delivery is very very deep though and it's easily caught by Fernandez there, the goalkeeper. He doesn't have a short option by the looks of it though so he's going to go long with this ball. Oh no he does go short to Victor Ruiz. He flicks it wide to Jokic. Forward for Pato. And Soriano plays a good ball for Bakambu who's very quick, he's in, has a shot and it's wide of the goal there. I was very concerned we were going to go behind there. Villarreal are a tough team and particularly Bakambu with his pace up front does give you trouble. So a let off there. So next time we join the action the ball's coming forward for Ronaldo who wins the header down to James Rodriguez. He plays it out wide to Coentrao coming down the left to Ronaldo now coming inside. Space opening up for a shot and it's a good save by Fernandez that time. Again corner comes to nothing but a really really good uh, good piece of attacking intent from Cristiano Ronaldo there. So the game goes a bit quiet for about 15 minutes. Tony Kroos stepping up to whip in another corner and we're causing some trouble actually with these deliveries into the box. Kroos whips it in. It's headed and it is in for Sergio Ramos. A headed goal from the corner gets us ahead in the game, not the most beautiful goal we score this season, but a goal that you need, uh, a scrappy goal that you sometimes need against these quality sides. So 1-0. So going in the break, 1-0 up, I was relatively happy, but cautious that we were, you know, that Villarreal were still in this game being a quality side. So I told the boys to actually watch against complacency and go out and finish the job in the second half. So relatively quiet, 15 minutes or so to open the second half. Jokic with the throw in now for Villarreal. Pato picks the ball up. Holds it well, plays it to Jokic again. Somewhat pinned in here down in the flank though. Tony Kroos wins the ball back. He's actually outnumbered though. And he's just kind of hit it forward. It was really poor there. The playing through is now to Pato. He hits it up to Bakambu. Nobody really in front of him to help out though. And he tries the shot from miles away. If they're going to keep shooting from there, you know, we'll be comfortable all day. And I'm actually, that chance for them made me feel a bit more comfortable about our chances. Nobody came forward to help Bakambu. And at that point, I was fairly confident actually we would get the clean sheet. So almost at the 70 minute mark, it's another ball whipped into the box. This time by James Rodriguez. It goes deep and it's the keeper's come and missed it. And Morata heads it off the underside of the bar and into the net for 2-0. That should be game over, points secured, another good win and another good clean sheet. So the next time out we're back for Spanish Cup action, simple 2-0 victory at home to Valladolid, 15-3 shot count, much more of a golf this time, goals from Morata and Ronaldo, nothing much more to say other than it was a simple game. 
So that'll do it for this episode. Next time out, we have to take on Ibar away from home. We should be able to get the win there, though, as we did pummel them earlier on in the season. So I'll hope you'll come back for the next edition, and I will see you next time.